Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to clean a Fitbit band easily. This will be a full tutorial, so let's get right into the video. As you can see right here, the first step is to remove your Fitbit bands, both of them, from your actual Fitbit device. Since we're gonna be cleaning them pretty thoroughly, you want to make sure that they are off of the device, okay? We're not just gonna be wiping them down or anything like that. We are going to be cleaning them thoroughly to hopefully disinfect them, get them nice and shiny and just feeling brand new once again, okay? So with that being said, get them off of the device. Very, very easy to do. You just use the very simple uh, little, uh, little piece over here, the lever over here on both sides. Really, really easy to do. It honestly takes a few moments. I think I've done a few tutorials on the various Fitbits and how to remove the band. So be sure to search for a tutorial. You might find mine, you might find someone else's, but get them off of the actual device. Now, if you are dealing with a cloth band or a rubber band, the process is gonna be the same, but the cloth band will have to be left out to dry, whereas the rubber band can just be wiped down and, and you're ready to use it right away. Very, very simple. All that you need is a sponge like this and some running water or a bowl or bucket full of water and some dish soap. The dish soap is important because it's gonna do a great job of cleaning, but also disinfecting it, okay? So I'm just gonna get some water on the sponge. I'm going to put some soap onto that sponge as well. You don't need a ton of soap, you just need a little bit of soap. And you wanna use the uh, abrasive side of the sponge. I mean, if it was a brand new sponge, I probably wouldn't use this side because it would be much tougher. This is a significantly used sponge, so that's why it's not so tough, but it's gonna do a great job at scrubbing down the Fitbit band. So as you can see right here, I'm scrubbing this, and this side is very important because of all of those little holes right there. So I'm scrubbing this one side, I'm scrubbing the other side like this. It's important to also do like the thin side over here and the other thin side over there. And then I also just scrub the top ends and the bottom ends like that. Very simple, okay? Same thing with the other side. And obviously with this one, you're gonna likely have these loops. Make sure you get around the loops. So I'm doing this side over here, okay? Scrubbing the other side over there. I like to do the uh, clasp portion over here, which is like that metal clasp portion, okay? The other side right here that connects to the device. The side, the thin sides on both ends. And then I like to just try and make sure I get underneath those bands. So I scrub all sort of around the bands and I just move the bands back and forth a little bit, separate them, bring them together. Um, and then once I'm done that, then I turn on the water and I rinse it off, okay? So I'm gonna rinse this off, just like this, okay? Mo for just a few moments, I'm gonna place them on the counter to the side off camera, you can't really see, sorry about that. But I'm just rinsing them off and then turn the water off and then you're gonna dry them. So I'm just gonna get some paper towel. You can use a cloth, but I like to use paper towel just, just, just here to be honest with you. I just had it readily available. So I chose to use paper towel and you're gonna wipe down the bands. Now it's important to, like this part will dry off. If you leave a little bit of water there, it will dry off. Not a huge deal, but it's very important to wipe down uh, here because it's metal and you don't wanna let the water sit on the metal for too long. So do a really good job at wiping it down. I always like to just go, I like to just blow some air into there just to loosen up any water that's remaining in there. Okay, and as you can see, that one's done. It's good to go. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the other band over here. Wipe it down, making sure to get under the loops over here. Like I said, um, with regards to the water being like on the band itself, not a massive deal because it's gonna dry off and it's no different than you sweating on the band. But with regards to the metal pieces like the clasp over here or the, especially the part that connects to the fit because that just gets pushed inside and it sort of stays there closed up. So you wanna make sure you get all of the water out of there. Just like that. I don't know what you guys are seeing on camera. I'm sorry if you saw like my bald head or something like that. I don't know if you saw like the actual Fitbit band or the side of my head or anything like that, but you know, I'm doing my best over here. Um, so as you can see right here, we've now cleaned the Fitbit band. Um, it's absolutely spotless. It feels feels nice and rubbery. It's got a nice, good, grippy feel to it um, because, and, and you know, it's nice and disinfected and so forth. So yeah, that's basically it. And if you have a cloth band, after you've dried it off, you're gonna have to let it sit to dry. I recommend putting it on maybe like a clothing drying rack so that it can get air on both sides and you're gonna leave it, I don't know, for maybe overnight should be more than enough to let it dry, but you be the judge of that. Um, but yeah, you're gonna have to obviously let it dry a little bit longer if it's a cloth band. So that is basically it. That is how to clean a Fitbit band easily a full tutorial if you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one and that's all i have for you today thanks for watching